Hi guys, Fog of Gaming here and welcome to the M1907 SF in Battlefield 5. Today I will show you everything that you need to know about this assault class rifle so that you can dominate the battlefield with the M1907 SF. The Winchester model 1907 is a semi-automatic rifle that was used from 1906 to 1958. It is much like an M1 carbine but heavier. The M1907 can only be used by the assault class. It has a rate of fire of 770 rounds per minute which is the highest value among the assault class weapons. The M1907 has a muzzle velocity of 570 meters per second. It is capable of doing 25.1 damage points at 0 meters, but this damage will drop of course, but not by a lot. You can still deal 25 damage points at 9 meters and 20 damage at 50 meters. The minimum amount of damage that the M1907 can cause is 17 damage points. This occurs at 75 meters and beyond. This means that you will need 4 bullets to kill at 0 meters up to 9 meters, 5 bullets to kill up to 50 meters and 6 bullets for anything beyond 50 meters. It is pretty obvious from these stats with that rate of fire that the M1907 can kill faster than most other assault class weapons. The time to kill at point blank range is only 0.234 seconds, that is even faster than the MG34 which I showed you yesterday. At 50 meters you will need 0.4 seconds to kill and if you go for long range kills at 75 meters you will need 0.522 seconds to kill. These numbers are extremely good, especially if you compare this with the other assault class weapons and even if you compare it with most of the other weapons available today in Battlefield 5. A weapon this good must have some downsides, right? The magazine size of the M1907 is relatively small, with only 16 bullets. This is the lowest magazine size among all assault class weapons, so this is definitely one way how they try to contain the M1907 SF. They also made sure that you would have to spend a significant amount of time reloading this weapon, because an anti reload takes 3.5 seconds, while reloading a magazine with some ammo left requires 2.9 seconds, and that is still quite a long time to be honest. The deploy time of the M1907, which is the time it takes to switch from a handgun to the M1907 is 0.8 seconds and the bullet drop is 12 meters per second squared. The great thing about these specializations is that you can improve some of these stats so that you can make your weapon significantly better. I will show you how I did it, but make sure that you choose the specializations that fit your playstyle the most. For the first upgrade I chose quick aim to make aiming down sights 33% faster. I make most of my kills while I aim down sights, so it makes sense for me to do this. It isn't worth to choose slings and swivels over quick aim. For me, the next one is a no brainer. You have the option to choose between enhanced grips, which improves your hipfire stats, or you could choose for an extended magazine. This gives you 5 extra bullets, so instead of 16, you will now get 21. I don't know about you, but if I have a weapon with only 16 bullets, then the first thing that I want to do is to improve this number. Because those extra 5 bullets could mean that I can make one extra kill. A kill that I would have never been able to make if I didn't have this specialization. The consequences are that you now have to choose for the custom stock, which is great, because it improves your accuracy in aimed fire when moving. If you were stuck on the left hand side, then you would have gotten another hipfire upgrade with polished action. For the last specialization you could go for the bayonet charge, but honestly I didn't even use that in battlefield 1 so why would I want to do this in battlefield 5? For me it makes no sense, so I made the obvious choice and I went for the lighten stock. This allows you to move 60% faster while aiming your weapon. So stick to the right hand side of the specialization tree if you like the aim down sights, and stick mostly to the left side if you like hipfire. Overall the M1907 SF is an amazing weapon for the assault class. It kills extremely fast, it's versatile, but the magazine size and the reload times are a big downside, so you will have to adjust when you play with this weapon. It excels in close range firefights, so it is best used on maps like Devastation and maybe even on Rotterdam, depending on where on the map you spend most of your time. I'm sure that you have noticed that I started making a lot of these weapon guides. If you have a request for a certain weapon, then let me know in the comments. Majority vote applies and if your weapon comes out on top, then I will make that video next. If you want, you're more than welcome to join me on Twitch, where you will see the weapon stats first, even before the YouTube video is online. A few subscribers requested me to make a platoon for Battlefield, so you guys are now more than welcome to join us there. Just search for Fog of Gaming and make sure that you join the Discord channel as well. You can find the link in the video description. What you saw here today is everything that you need to know about the M1907 SF in Battlefield 5. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you on the battlefield.